my entire body is swollen. People be like, you're so ugly, like you're so fat. But I think my motto is like, I'm not fat, I'm swollen. <laughs> and I think you can kind of tell the difference when someone's fat and someone's swollen, because it's a very big difference. If you look, my forearms, like that's how my normal size would be. Like, it looks normal, but this is all just fluid. This is the only part of my body that is normal. Lymphedema is a condition where you don't have lymph nodes. The lymph nodes carry the excess fluid that your body makes and usually it carries it back to the blood. Uh, because I don't have that, the fluid doesn't have anywhere to go and it sort of just sits, hence why my body is swollen. I sort of resemble if I was stung by a bee or something. My entire body is swollen. To manage my condition, I'm taking medication every day. As far as I'm aware, there's only a few other people in the world like me that has lymphedema all throughout my body. Yeah, so these are all my pictures. Yeah, these are scary pictures. I always say I look like the exorcist in the picture because when I was born, um, I had these really tight breathing masks on my eyes and they caused bruising. Um, so this is, I was just born, that's my mum, that's me. We didn't know that she had lymphedema until after she was born, but when I was pregnant, we knew she had something which is called hydrops, which means that she was completely fluid filled. It was a premature birth. Yeah. It was induced five weeks early to try and limit the, the danger of her being born at full term, where she probably wouldn't have come out alive. So you can see, like, these are my hands. They're just swollen. Um, I always get nicknamed the Michelin Man. You know, from that advert, that tyre advert. Or Popeye. I get that a lot. But I like that, because I like Popeye. I think the hardest thing as a parent is that you want your child to be happy and to be accepted at school. There have been some difficult times for her emotionally having to walk down the corridor knowing that everyone's looking at her and often pointing. Finding friends is always difficult for anyone but for me it was like even harder. <laughs> you want some hot chocolate? No dad because you I, I love you but you always make it watery. Bella's definitely had a lot of challenges in life with like being sick and also differences to other people and stuff like that and she's always had a quite a positive attitude about it. I did have a, a, a phase where I was really worried, like, oh, would I, what would people think of me? Like, I always had that in the back of my mind, but now I've, like, kind of just pushed that away and thought, it doesn't matter. People are going to like you, people are going to hate you, people are going to have an opinion on you, and that's just life. You just have to deal with it. Isabella, what time are you going out? You're meeting your friends, aren't you, for golf? So what time are you going to be there? Um, I think, like, midday. OK, well, you better hurry up, because you're going to be running out of time. You need to go and get ready. I just wish like jeans were more like better suited for less skinny legged people um, but these were originally a lot longer they were like all the way down to the floor and we obviously cut it and uh, this jack jumper is like my go-to because it's uh, really cold now bye mom so my condition predominantly affects my mobility. Uh, so the best way to explain it is like, imagine you have loads of bricks and you're carrying those bricks on your legs, your arms, your back, your front. So mobility for me is quite limited. I can walk, but not for long distances before I get tired. I mean, I do get nervous that people are gonna stare. I mean, I get it every day. Like I have people like, you know, slowing down, rolling down their windows being like, <gasps> and I'm like, are you good? People be like, you're so ugly, like you're so fat. But I think my motto is like, I'm not fat, I'm swollen. And I think you can kind of tell the difference when someone's fat and someone's swollen, because uh, it's a very big difference. You all right? Hey, you all right? You all right? How are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. You want to go? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh my God, that would have gone straight in. Hit it lighter. <laughs> So living with Bella's condition would probably be like quite hard because obviously people kind of judge you. It's like if they ever come up to us and like ask us, oh, what's wrong with her? Like, why is she like that? It's like 
Well, if you really want to know, why don't you ask her? Treat people the way you want to be yeah, treated. Yeah, treat people the way you want to be treated and just like treat you like a normal, you're a normal kid, do you know what I mean? Just treat you like the same. Yeah. Hey! I think if I just let myself wallow in the tears, I think I would have gone and set like crazy by now. I think because I had that positive attitude and because I was like effectively a fighter, I, would, I fought it because if you think mentally that you're going to make it through, you do it. And that's something I've learned, definitely. <laughs>